All right, to get this uh, microbiology uh, lab practical review, I guess, started, so I'm going to start with mannitol salt auger. Um, this type of medium is both selective and differential. The MSA will select for organisms such as Staphylococcus species, which can live in, in areas of high co salt concentration. Um, example would be the plate on the left in the picture. Uh, this is in contrast to the Streptococcus species, whose growth is selective against by this high salt auger plate is on the right. Um, if you can look at that. So the differential ingredient in MSA is the sugar mannitol. Um, organisms capable of using mannitol as a food source will produce acidic byproducts of fermentation that will lower the pH of the media and also the acidity of the media will cause the pH indicator, which is phenol red, to turn yellow. Staphylococcus aureus is capable of fermenting mannitol, as you can see on the left side of the left plate, um, while staphylococcus, staphylococcus epidermiditis is not, which is on the right, or the right side of the plate. So the next on the list is uh, bioesculin auger. This is a media that is broth selective and differential. It tests the ability of organisms to hydrolysize uh, esculin in the presence of bile. It is commonly used to identify members of the genus Enterococcus. Uh, specific examples would be Enterococcus faecalis and Enterococcus facium. The first set of ingredient in this auger is bile, which inhibits the growth of gram positives other than enterococci and sodium streptococci species. The second selective ingredient is sodium azide. This chemical inhibits the growth of gram-negative bacteria. The differential ingredient is esculin. If an organism can hydrolyze uh, esculin in the presence of bile, the product esculitin is formed. Esculitin reacts with ferric uh, citrate in the medium, forming a phenolytic iron complex which turns the entire slant dark brown to black. If you look at the picture, it's the far right. The tube on the far right was inoculated with Enterococcus faecalis, which, like I said, is positive. The tube in the center was inoculated with bioesculin negative organism, and the tube on the far left was an uninoculated tube. This is the sulfur indole motility media, also known as the SIM tube very common test, test tube in the lab. Um, I use it all the time. It helps. It, um, it's like three tests in one. And it really can get you in and out of the lab if you're doing unknowns for general microbiology or clinical classes. Um, so this is a differential medium. It tests for the ability of organisms to do several things. One would be reduce sulfur, um, produce indole, and um, also to differentiate organisms. Uh, that are motile. The SIM tube is commonly used to differentiate organisms or members, I'm sorry, um, of the genera Enterobacteriaceae. And if you look, the far left tube is um, positive for sulfur production. The one closest to that with a red orientation would be a positive for an indole. You can notice the red and then the one next to the indole. Um, if, we're, if we're still going right, it will be a positive for motility. You can kind of see the, um, it's not as clear as the one on the very, very far right. I know there's four right here, um, but if you can bear with me. And um, so the one on the far right would be the uninoculated tube. The next is a catalase test, um, very useful as well for the initial determin determination of an unknown if you do have one. Um, this test is used to identify organisms that produce the enzyme catalase. And if you look um, on the slide, the right would be a positive reaction and the left would be a negative reaction. Like I said, this enzyme detoxifies hydrogen peroxide by breaking it down into water and then oxygen gas. So very simple, very um, useful tool to get the initial diagnosis.